Shalom from Israel, where Rabbi David and Carrie welcome to Jump in Jerusalem, the show where we jump in to learn about lots of different things like Israel, the Jewish holidays, plus some words in Hebrew. That's the language of the Bible. Today, we're going to jump in and learn about the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah. Can you say Rosh Hashanah? Rosh Hashanah. Great job. Okay, I'll be back later with a little surprise. Can't wait. Now, what do the words Rosh Hashanah mean? Well, the Hebrew word Rosh means head, but it also means the very beginning, the start. The word Hashanah means the year. Put that together, you get Rosh Hashanah, the start of the year. And that's exactly what Rosh Hashanah is. It's the Jewish New Year. So how do we celebrate Rosh Hashanah? One of the things we do is to take an apple, which is sweet, and we dip it into honey, which is really sweet. And then you eat it, it's super duper sweet. And that's the kind of year we want to have, sweet and happy. And since there's a whole lot of things we want sweet in our lives, we do a whole lot of praying. We want everyone to be healthy and safe and to have enough food to eat. So we pray really, really hard that we, our family, our friends, our neighbors, everyone should have a good, sweet year. We also have to pray for the safety of Israel and ask God, who loves us so much and is always looking out for us, to keep protecting us so there should be no more wars and no one should try to hurt us. And then we do something else very special. Anyone know what that is? It's called a shofar. No, not a chauffeur. A shofar. Can you say shofar? Shofar. Great. A shofar is the horn of a ram, and you blow it like a horn. Hey, wait a second. Maybe that's why the word horn means something you blow, and it also means the horn of an animal, because the very first horns in the world were made from animal horns. Blowing the shofar is mentioned lots of places in the Bible. In fact, when the Bible talks about Rosh Hashanah, it's called the Day of Shofar Blowing. And why do we blow the shofar on Rosh Hashanah? Well, what happens when you blow a horn? People wake up. And the truth is, sometimes, we walk around the world kind of sleepy. No, not really asleep. Just that we're so busy with all the little things in life that sometimes we forget about the big things like making sure we remember that being a good person, being kind and caring and nice to everyone is the most important thing we can do. And so we blow the shofar lots of times to wake ourselves up and remember all the good things that we want to do this year so we can make this year the best one yet. So what do you think? You want to hear the shofar? Yeah! yeah. Did somebody say they want to hear the shofar? Wow, you brought a real shofar. What a great surprise. Wow. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about Rosh Hashanah. When you see people on Rosh Hashanah, you say the greeting, Shana Tova, which means, I hope you have a good year. Now yell out, Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Very good. So now you guys know so much about Rosh Hashanah. It's the time we eat apples and honey and pray for a very sweet new year. It's the day we blow the shofar, and it's when we say a big Shana Tova to all our friends. Shana Tova! Shana Tova! Happy Rosh Hashanah and a very sweet year to everyone. From Rabbi David and Carrie. Shalom, Shalom from, from Israel! Israel.